In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize photos if you are on a Mac device or if you're on a Windows device. Most of the time when you get photos from the school photographer or if you take photos on your own, the file size is pretty big and Omni only allows a certain upload size. So I'm going to show you how to resize your photo so it is a good size to add to Omni website so your websites don't load slow. In this example, I'm going to show you how to modify or resize the image on a Mac device. So what you want to do is you want to click on your photo. It's going to take you to this preview window right here. And in the toolbar, I'm going to click on tools and I'm going to go down to adjust size. And as you see, it already gives me the image dimensions right here. This is going to be way too big to upload. And as you see, the megabyte size is really big. We only allow certain size for uploading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the size. I'm just going to put 600. And as you see, it actually drops the size down right here. So it's no longer megabytes. It drops it down to kilobytes, which is perfect. And that's going to allow the website to load the images much faster. So all I have to do is click OK. And my photo does get a bit smaller, but all I have to do is go to View, click on Actual Size, and it brings up the size of um, the photo. And that is how you resize the photo on a Mac device. It's automatically saved. I don't have to do anything. I could just upload it as needed. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize a photo if you're on a PC. So here's my photo right here. I'm just going to double click on this and it's going to open in my photo app. As you see, I get a preview of the photo. All I'm going to do is go to the three dots above the photo. As you see, when I hover over it, it reads see more. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go towards the area right here where it reads resize. I'm going to click on that. And I have a few different options right here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on define custom dimensions. Click on that. And here's a preview of the actual size it is right now. So it's 6,000 by 4,000, uh, 10.5 megabytes. This is way too big to upload to Omni because we don't allow this megabyte size. So our goal is to make it smaller so we could upload it. So I'm just going to set this to 600. And as you see, the height does change because I have maintain aspect ratio selected, which I would recommend. And I'm going to click on save resize copy. It's going to bring me to a window right here. And all I'm going to do is just add a underscore and a one to the end of this to give it a new name. Of course, you would want to name it properly on your side. So I'm going to click save and it gets dropped on the desktop right here. And I'm going to double click so I could preview this. And as you see, my photo is smaller. This photo, of course, looks nicer, but it is bigger, so it's going to be tougher to upload. And with big photos, the web page is going to load slower. This photo right here will be perfect for our website, and your website will load faster. Now what I'm going to do in this segment is show you how to compress a PDF. Omni CMS only allows a certain size to be uploaded for PDFs, and I'm going to show you how to compress your PDF. This sample PDF I have right here is too big to upload to Omni. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Acrobat Pro to compress this file. This is going to work for PC and Mac. To see your file size, you could just right click on it. Either go to properties or just get info if you're on Mac. And as you see, the size right here reads 7.4 megabytes. And that is too big. We don't allow that size to be uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Acrobat Pro. I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to browse for my PDF. Here it is. I'm going to click Open. And here's my PDF right here. Um, this is just a sample one, so I put photos in there along with some text. So what I want to do next is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to scroll down and click on Compress PDF. And I'm going to choose where I want this to save. I'm just going to click on the desktop, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Click on that. Then I'll be prompted to give it a name, so I'm going to put test2, and I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to save that, and as you see, it's being compressed. Now here's my new file. I'm going to right-click and get the info here, and as you see, it is now 287 kilobytes, and all the information is still there. 